The Lakers took an L yesterday against the Blazers and of course, while we shouldn't overreact to one loss, it made one aspect of their team stand out. Alex Caruso was not playing and it showed that the Lakers could definitely use another lockdown defender who can guard both guards and opposing wings. One player who is currently a free agent and can do just that is Rondé Hollis Jefferson. I think he's a player LA should definitely consider once they are able to use a prorated salary for their final roster spot and he was one of my favorite players actually back then when he was with the Nets. So let's go over RHJ's game and how he fits with the Lakers. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop like and subscribe. And also my friend has started his own YouTube channel and if you're interested in seeing Reddit content, check out his channel after this vid and he's also doing a $100 giveaway so definitely subscribe to his channel after this vid. So RHJ is a 6'6 wing who has been an excellent perimeter defender with the Nets and the Raptors over the past few seasons. He's athletic, quick, and long, and he has showed the ability to defend guards, wings, and even some bigs on switches. He has quick hands and getting easy steals and strips, and his long wingspan makes it tough for his opponents to get off clean looks. His main problem is on offense, where he isn't very skilled and doesn't really have a three-point shot, but he is a good cutter and solid in transition as well. He's actually also a pretty good playmaker for a wing and makes the right pass, and he can certainly handle the ball at times too. But his main role on the team would be as a defensive specialist, and this activity and hustle on the defensive end could be a huge asset for LA by providing the Lakers with an insurance option if one of their perimeter defenders goes down. Specifically, if guys like Caruso, KCP, and others are out, RHA will be able to fill in very easily. So overall, I wouldn't expect RHA to see consistent minutes with LA unless injuries happen. But I do think he would be a great addition to the team, and certainly more useful than guys like Quinn Cook and Jared Dudley. And on that topic, I was thinking, I still think the Lakers messed up by using those roster spots on those two guys, as while chemistry is definitely very important, they didn't really fulfill their need for another active wing and big man. Against the Blazers, Nurkic and Cantor cooked LA in the paint, and that's why I think they do need to acquire another big like Deadman, or as I said before in one of my recent videos, Mahimi could be a good option as well. But we'll see what LA will do, and I do expect them to maybe make another move as we get closer to the trade deadline. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below, do you think the Lakers should sign RHJ? Let me know why or why not, and I definitely do read all comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So without that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you on our next video. Peace.